Interessant. Was hat er jetzt gemacht? Er hat sofort den Fußboden als Gegenlager verwendet. Zack. Erstmal Applaus. Here, here we have now a shackle, not hardened steel, soft steel. We attacked it with a bolt cutter, and as you can see here, the blade entered into the steel, and at one point it broke. So if you have not hardened steel, it doesn't matter how thick it is, if you had not hardened steel and sharp blades from the bolt cutter, you may cut it in pieces, and it will look like this. In contrary to that, here we have a shackle from our granite product and um, we have case hardened steel. Case hardened steel means the outer shell is so hard that the bolt cutter blade can't enter. It tried to enter here and here and we squeezed it so much that the pressure inside made the lock breaking in the other way. So the blade wanted to enter, but it couldn't. And the pressure we had to put on made the shackle break the other way. It takes much, much more force to break it this way than to have not hardened steel or to break it this way. So, now here we have a piece of steel, hardened steel. I say case hardened steel. Why do we have to take steel and not, for example, aluminium? Or uh, what does it mean, hardening steel? I try to explain you. Now, if we talk about steel, we have to go very, very deep into the atomic structure. I have a little toy of my, for my children. The uh, iron atoms. And the bars in between are the forces between the iron atoms. If iron is liquid, very, very hot, liquid, and it becomes solid, cools down and becomes solid, all the iron atoms, they come together like this. Crystallization is this process. And um, here, this piece of iron contains millions and millions of these cubes. One cube after the other, the next one, the following one. Many, many of these cubes. Okay. Now it is pretty soft and you can see we may move these atoms without doing something, anything at these forces here between the atoms. So we can go inside here, squeeze it, put it away. Now we have pretty soft stuff. This is iron. But here we have steel. And steel is iron plus the carbon moves into these cubes. Now we have this um, iron, iron, iron piece and the uh, many, many cubes in the carbon inside. This is steel. Steel is iron plus a special amount of carbon. Okay. Here. It is not hard, but steel we can make harder. If we make it hot, and we make it hotter than uh, at a temperature of uh, 720, 730 Celsius, all these cubes inside here, they become a little bit bigger. And at that temperature, the carbon atoms, they move from the center on the sides. On these sides, there are the carbon atoms. If we take these, this thing now and make it cold very fast, the cubes, they want to shrink, but they can't, because here we have the carbon atoms. And the carbon, it wants to move inside, but it can't because it's squeezed here, because the, the cubes want to become smaller. And then, suddenly, it, at the end, it looks something like this or whatever it is. And here, you can't move anything. It is very, very hard. You can try this at home with a gas burner, small gas burner, and a razor blade. Take the razor blade make it hot at the gas burner that it glows that it glows about one minute one and a half minutes and then place it into a glass of cold water you get it very hard but unfortunately very brittle okay. and the worst thing for us would be a very hard lock but a very brittle lock 
Just imagine somebody comes and takes a huge hammer, smashes it, and it breaks. So we get a problem. There are two ways of doing it. One way is we take a steel that contains enough carbon and we make hot only the outer surface and then we cool it down immediately. Well, that's very expensive and it doesn't work with a round shekel and pretty complicated. We go a different way. We use steel that doesn't contain enough carbon to get, have this process everywhere. We uh, make it hot, we glow it for several hours and uh, there will be an atmosphere, a carbon containing atmosphere around it and the carbon atoms, they will move into the outer layer. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeter. It depends on the steel, temperature and uh, the atmosphere around. Then we have a steel, we can cool down, we can harden it and um, only the outer surface, the outer layer, will be hard. How do you test how hard it is? Mm. We test it with... Um, usually we test it with a testing routine according Vickers. Testing according Vickers, that means we have here... So we have here a machine. We have a uh, diamond pyramid underneath. And we press the diamond pyramid on the surface of the steel. And then we see, depending how big the, the impact is, we, see the, um, we can see the, um, the hardness of that steel. But now we have a little bit um, a challenge. We don't know how thick the hard layer is. Just imagine we, uh, we have the hard layer here. The diamond pyramid goes through that hard layer. 0 0.2 millimeter is not much. And um, then the tip of the, of the diamond pyramid goes inside the soft steel. Then we measure something, but not the hardness of the surface. So we have to go a different way. Here we have a piece of the shackle. We cut out that piece, place it into uh, plastic. We polished everything. And now we can check with a diamond pyramid in the middle of the shackle, closer to the, to the edge and even here at the edge and then we measure 0 0.1 millimeter away from the, from the edge and then 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so on. And then we can see how hard the outer surface is and how hard it is inside. And so we can say 0 0.2 millimeter, 0 0.3 maximum, that's what we allow. And this is so we test the hardness of the steel. For us it is very important to have made almost everything in Germany. That means we uh, get the steel from Germany, we cut it in pieces, we drill, mill and do everything, all the holes we need for the cylinder, the draining holes, the holes for the shackle. We make the shackle here in-house and um, after making shackle and uh, lock body we send them to a hardening company. For us it is very important that it is done here in Germany because here we can control them and we know they are very, very good experts in hardening steel. You can do this uh, in other countries, you can do this in Far East, but then you can't control them in the way we do it. This is for us very important to get these things done here in Germany. Then things come back um, hardened, galvanized, and then we can assemble everything and again we check it and we prove that everything is done in a very good, in a proper way.